This episode is brought to you by Smule. So apparently it's a lot easier on a four hole. Hey everyone, it's David, and today we'll be discussing one of the most popular ocarina styles out there, the four hole pendant. Although vessel flutes have been around for thousands of years, and the ten-hole ocarina invented in the mid-1800s, this version of the ocarina was invented fairly recently in the late 1960s by an English mathematician named John Taylor. Mr. Taylor revolutionized the ocarina by condensing an eight-tone scale into an instrument with only four holes. This is possible by making each finger hole a different size, and using them to create various combinations for each tone in the scale. The ocarina and the fingering systems invented were such amazing concepts that they were named in honor of his heritage and are now widely known as the English Pendant Ocarina and the English Fingering System. So what makes this ocarina so great? Well, most pendants tend to be more compact and more transportable than their inline and sweet potato cousins. Some people even wear them for jewelry. Uh, its use of only four finger holes allowed them to be played with considerable speed as well. Observe. Another great feature of this ocarina is the option of having one or two holes in the bottom for your thumbs, giving you a total of six holes on this ocarina. This would allow the ocarina to play up to 17 pitches, which is one less than the 10-hole ocarina, and that's a pretty good range. Now that we know a little bit more about the style of ocarina, I'd like to demonstrate how to play several scales, which you can not only use to play your favorite songs, but also for some improvisation. We'll start with the major scale. For best results, try to memorize these scales and have fun with them by learning your favorite songs by ear or even making up your own tunes. If you've been watching this video wondering if you should buy your first English Pendant Ocarina and you're curious about what's out there, I've posted some links in the description for ocarina makers that specialize in these four hole ocarinas. Feel free to check them out. My friends at Smule have just taken this ocarina one step further by making the very first digital ocarina available exclusively on the iPhone. It's a fully functional English pendant with the same range as a 10-hole ocarina, but it also has some amazing features that you'll never find on a clay or wooden ocarina.
This is a great step in raising awareness for the ocarina, and if you'd like to learn more or give it a try yourself, please visit ocarina.smule.com. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.